So next, uh, we need uh, to add the views to our application. So you can follow this link. So we need to install view and also to install the plugin uh, dash view. And also here, if you move to Inertia Docs, so here you have the client side. So once you are here, so you need also to install the Inertia JS slash view tree. Okay. So move to your terminal and add these uh, packages. So npm install and packages that uh, we have seen. So I have already done this step uh, just to save. Uh, time because sometimes it takes time to install the packages and also let's move to so here inside the package.json so here you can see the so here the view the versions and also here the inertia js slash view okay so if you are coming from the future so use the same versions as mine okay and also we need uh, to do something uh, before we add uh, the components. So here just I forgot to change the name of the function from index from create index. Okay, so here inside the home uh, controller. So if you notice that it's okay, if not, uh, so try to change it. Okay, so now, as I said, I have already done step and installed packages. So what we need, so we need to keep, to copy this line and paste it inside vit.config.js. So here we need to import view, and here inside the, the RI which has the plugins, we need to add the view also. Okay, so now we have add the views to our application so as you can see here so next we need only to create the components and display them so that's all we have done this step so the next step is uh, to move here and as you can see we need to copy this code from here and paste it inside app.js so let's uh, format the document so what we have here so here we are telling our application that we will load the pages from a folder called pages and inside we will have a folder and name of components with the, the dot view extension this is the meaning of this code and also here we only mount our application and display the pages so let's create the folder that we have uh, Defined so here we need to create a folder called the pages. So if you move uh, here, so let's see what we have here. So we don't have anything to add. So let's move to the pages here and inside the pages. So as I said, so here in the JS, so let's uh, go down. So let's see here. So the pages so in the JS assumes that you have. Uh, pages folder and inside the pages folder you have uh, your components okay so as we have uh, seen so let's see here so okay so the same thing like we have seen so we have pages and here we have the name of uh, the components okay let's uh, as i said let's create the uh, first component so let's add another folder here let's call it home and inside we need components which is index.view so the name of the components needs to be the same as uh, the one that we have defined here inside the home okay which is index so you don't need here to add pages slash home slash index because we have already defined that inside our app.js as we said so here you don't need the, to do that only thing you need to do is to add the home slash index so the home will be the folder and index will be will be the components okay without the extension you didn't you don't need to add any extension here okay so now we have uh, the component let's add here the structure and as we have uh, seen so we are sending 
the contacts to our components. So our components will receive uh, these uh, contacts uh, as uh, proper. So let's first add here define define props. Uh, and here uh, let's add const uh, props uh, and uh, define uh, props and here inside we have uh, so as i said we have the contacts and contacts type will be an object and uh, here it's required so the required will be zero and now we have the contacts so let's only add here div for now and display the contacts and see what uh, we have here so let's move to our home page so this error just the, the when i was testing so this error just the name of uh, the name of the function here was create okay so we have already fix this uh, problem uh, so let's see what we have here so as you can see we have uh, all the contacts so all we need now to do is to display the contacts and to display uh, the contacts so we need first uh, to create inside the or inside js folder so here let's create another components folder and inside let's add contacts uh, and inside uh, Let's add contacts uh, list uh, dot uh, view, and here let's add view uh, structure, and here we have setup, uh, and here we have uh, scooped, uh, and let's add here. Uh, so here we will uh, so the same thing. So here let's let's bring the same thing. So let's define. So let's organize the code. Let's define the props, so we will receive the uh, same thing, uh, which is uh, the contacts uh, as props. Uh, let's copy and paste here, and uh, do the same thing like we have done here. So let's bring the contacts and uh, paste them here and save, so now we can use uh, this component to display the contacts uh, list okay so we need to import it uh, so let's import uh, contact uh, contact uh, list uh, from uh, and it's inside uh, so we need to move to the components and here we have the contacts and contact list okay so save uh, so save uh, and uh, let's take a look uh, so we will have the same thing uh, so let's refresh the page uh, so we have something wrong let's check so the props contacts so we did not send here so sorry let's add here contacts uh, let's send them as prop and also here we need the contacts okay so save uh, let's take a look so now we have the uh, same thing so now we need uh, as i say to display the contacts uh, and also here we need uh, to add another component let's add another component and this we this component will be the contact list uh, item and here we will display uh, the contact okay or the contact uh, details